We are leaving Yapoon. We uh, what have we got? We got. We'll change it. We've got had a little change of plans. We're going to head up to again. <laughs> we're going to go straight through up to Notch Point from here, but then we just met a couple of another travelling family. Yeah, we were packing up, and and I noticed there was a bloke next to us that was sweating as much as I was. <laughs> so I checked out his number plate, and he's from Victoria. So I had a quick chat to him, and anyway, 20 minutes later, we're still yakking. Yeah. So we were going to Notch Point, yeah. um, but all this area that he suggested is um, oh, maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, maybe an hour before Notch Point. So we just thought, why not? We're not in a rush. We stopped in Yapoon, we loaded up with groceries, a big shop. And coffee. And coffee. Yeah. And hopefully Flat Rock, it's called, the uh, the camping ground. If we get there and it's packed or we can't get a good spot, like I said, there's two or three others we can choose from that are, they look like they're about yeah. 20 minutes apart, so. Not even, but then worst case scenario, we keep going through to. Yeah, that's right. That's the other option is if we um, get there and, and none of the sites are suitable, or we can't get the van in, who knows? Um, We'll just keep going a notch point. So. Going by the photos, this one looked, looked the best by far, but <sighs> coming in here, um, it's about an hour, hour and a quarter on a dirt track. And when we get to the end of the dirt road, holy hell, it was tight, proper tight. We were in low range. Um, we were backing up, taking new angles to get past trees, like big trees. Um, just squeezing through with the height of the van. It's, it says, <laughs> when we checked out, checked out Wiki Camps, it says that it's, um, says that it's caravan rated, off-road caravan rated. But I'll tell you what, maybe not for a van our size and um it was all worth it i'm not i'm not looking forward to get trying to get it back out um but come for a walk have a look at this pretty awesome i'm gonna turn you around check this out How awesome is this? Right. So it would have been pretty dirty if we couldn't have got to get a spot and we had to turn around. But, as I say sometimes, you go where everyone goes, you just get what everyone sees. This is, this is beautiful. Chaps, that's pretty cool, isn't it? I've wandered up the beach to what we thought, Ava thought was a sandcastle sticking out of the sand, but I'll check it out, just a random, and it's rock. A yeah, it's cool though. It's really got a cool shape. Definitely doesn't look like what it looked like from a couple hundred metres away. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. All right, come on. Let's go help Mum do some coffees, do some brekkie, and put the drone up. We're on our way to have a look for some rock pools, aren't we, kids? Yep. Rock pools? Don't get too excited, Mads. I'm not excited. You're not excited? Yeah, because there's crocodiles. Oh, they've heard the cro word crocodile once or twice. And now Madison's paranoid about crocodiles. Because Ava said something scary. Ava's scared of them. They're not really rock pools, they're just hot, low spots in the, in the sandbar. Hang on, we've spotted something. What do we got? Oh yeah. 
been ruined, huh? So we've walked across to the flat rock and you can see wild spinnies around, have a look. It's a big ledge that just drains off on low tide. It's like a... Um, like a waterfall. Pretty cool. Yeah, you can't see it once the tide's up. She's um, just wondering why they call it flat rock. And there we go, we've got our answer. Yeah, it was, it was scheduled for rain or storms um, for today anyway. That's why we decided we were going to leave in the morning. That's yeah, not too bad, but the old van has copped it. Oh. oh. Okay. Maybe the, uh, maybe the tailgate did cop it. Awesome. Just love nothing a lot more than washing clay off cars. Looks good with a bit of dirt on it, I reckon. What do you think? Coffee time. So we are at the gate at Notch Point, so we have to go through the gate and um, we open it, drive through, you've got to reclose it because there's cattle roaming. So let's see. Um, go straight through. Shane looks like she's having some trouble getting the gate sorted though. Reckon she grew up on a farm. Can't even navigate a simple farm gate. Oh, she's got it. All right, let's go. A little bit tighter here. Coming up to a tiny bit of water over it, but it looks disgusting to be honest. Yeah. Looks like to me where a lot of mozzies could have been. Um, pretty well so far. Just been taking it slow and easy. We are, where are we? We Notch are point. at Notch Point. It is so hot, I've got my hair so tight, slicked back. So the frizzies that are still coming out don't rest on my sweaty face on it. Come on. Doesn't matter. Do whatever you can to stay comfortable. Yeah. It's definitely warm. It's not so you can hear probably in the background that we are disturbing the peace once again. Um, yesterday it was for homeschooling. Today it's for. I don't know. It's just lunch. Just some lunch. We just made some healthy hot chips with chicken salt. Delicious. Um, and now we're doing some fried dimmies. Yeah, fry going. Boom. Boom. My nan and pop. The old mystery bags, as I like to call them. You don't know what's inside. You just chew and you have to wait to enjoy. So we're and gonna, that's... we're gonna, what are we gonna do? We're gonna shut, shut the generator down once we finish cooking. Yeah. We're gonna go for a drive to the United so, Servo. It will be. We're gonna pretend to put some fuel in. We will. No. Put, we'll put some fuel in. But really, I'm gonna fill the bladder up with water to bring back to the van because we're out of water around the washing machine. But we just had so much dirty washing still and it was doing my head in. I thought, didn't think it would use that much water, but note yeah. to self. Not off grid. If you're off grid, no I washing like machine. Or wait till the last day when I know we're leaving to get more water. The uh, pumps have turned themselves off and yeah. said no more. So we've got no choice really. We've got to head back to the servo. And <laughs> like I said, better off begging for forgiveness rather than uh, asking permission in these situations. Anyhow, we'll, uh, we'll jump in the car, we'll do a bit of a drive around, I'll show you both sides of Notch Point. You've got the uh, the ocean side, which we're on, you get a really good breeze up up the uh, up the sand dunes. We're camped up on top of the sand dunes. And then you've got the bay side, which it's a, the water's a lot more still. And the water is a lot 
prettier. So prettier to look at. On the um, bay side, but uh, we're obviously ex Victorians and the breeze is welcomed on this side. So, yeah. We camped here. Absolutely, we did. So, yeah, the guys down there, you can see in the background, just uh, they're miles away. Is Oz. Miles away, Oz, I think they're called. Um, miles away around Oz, whatever. Um, yeah, they pulled up this morning, um, parked up a couple hundred metres away. There are only neighbours. And um, turns out, yeah, I went to the same primary school as them, two or three years apart. We're from a small sort of beach town. Um, and yeah, it's just crazy how. Oh, actually, don't worry about that. Look at these. Yummy. Jimmy's. Our oh, birds will be happy now. We can. Uh, delicious. Delicious? We can uh, shut the generator up now and just enjoy beautiful beach. Yeah. Okay. Don't say too much, Madison. <laughs> She's too hot. It is seriously boiling here at the moment. We're That's Queensland. The, it's hot. The nighttime is beautiful. Like the breeze is so nice, but during the day it is just really, really hot. Really hot. So yeah, you've got the ocean side on that side. If you spin around, you get the, the headland there or the, the point, and it, it turns into a, a bit of a bay area where you get much calmer, much more sort of, yeah, calmer conditions. Sometimes think that being a bit over the top with the old crocodiles and not jumping in the water while well, a bit of a sad point, but this is um, old Neville John, the uh, the memorial to him. So he was down here at the ramp. I was going to take the camera in a minute and show you the ramp, but um, this is the bay side of Notch Point. Um, he was down here launching his boat. Got out for two seconds to push the boat off the trailer. Car was running. Someone else come down here hours later, or maybe even the next day, I'm not quite sure. Car was still running. Boat was gone. No one around. So, croc got him. So, anyway, we will um, we'll go down and we'll, we'll show you the sand and uh, show you the calmer conditions down here on the, uh, on the bay side. So there you go. Boat coming out of, that, out of the ramp. The guy sitting in the boat, he said to me that that memorial, that's actually his brother. So, uh, yeah, good on him for coming back down here. I'd have a hard time doing it. So, nice and calm over here, isn't it? Yep. Um, lucky for lucky for me, actually, my brother-in-law bought us a gift on, uh, before we were um, departing. We went out for dinner, and at the end of the night, he, he said, hey, I've got something for you guys, and this is it. It's a, um, excuse the mess in the Land Cruiser. So it's a um, it's a 145 litre water bladder by um, uh, FlexiMake. So we've done a bit of a MacGyver and um, and got it all plumbed up this morning and, and gone into town and, and, and filled her up and had to buy a few bits and pieces from the Mitre 10 so that we were able to reach one of the taps. So I'll give you a hot tip. Not many other people that know this, so. I'll share it with you though. So. These pumps only travel in one direction as far as the flow. And I had them backwards. So the first try, I didn't know what was going wrong. There's, there's, there's an inline cap that sits on this end normally. It's like a inline filter, so if you drop it into a river or, or a dam, it's got some pre-filter um, happening. It makes it very obvious which way the water should go, but I had to take it off so I could plumb it into the lines. <laughs> Working heaps better now. <laughs> Coconuts! 
We found one and a lovely man camping down from us gave us one they got yesterday. So, first time cutting a mic run. I was having a beautiful sleep and uh, someone happened to tap me on the shoulder, didn't you, honey? Yeah. The old tap tap, but it wasn't for what you thought, what you're thinking. <laughs> It was, because it was a stunning sunrise. Wow. So look at the beautiful sky. <sighs> look. Lifts his head up, he goes, mm. Put my head back down. And <laughs> he missed it now. Yeah, missed it, but I thought, nah, I'll jump out of bed, I'll get some, some drone footage, and still nice and still. Sheena's got a photo. It's not great, because I'm definitely Probably not great, because, but we will, but we'll drop now. it in as a bit of a, a freeze. Yeah, a bit of a preview for you. Cool. Anyway. Moral of the story is, I'm having a lot of drone problems and I'm out of bed now for no reason. So I've got something funny to say, sorry to cut you off. Oh, Shen is yes, real sir. funny, get ready for this. <laughs> it's just, yes, it's just pretty funny. We had new campers pull up, they're, they're super nice, we've made friends with them. They're all right. But um, <laughs> they, she goes, oh no, like midges, and I was like, oh the mozzies and the midges are really good here, it's always really breezy, they like, haven't had any, anyway, last night. The first night, there was no wind, and I am covered in bites. Oh, <laughs> they, terrible. They came over. Kids had a little movie night because we got the um, pixie. Whatever it is, the projector. Projector. So all the kids were here, and we had a few drinks, and we were just like getting hammered. I'm covered from head to toe. That would be nice, though, like, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hashtag Queensland. Beautiful one day, itchy every day. I'm so itchy, it's not funny. I can't stop scratching. I've got like a golf ball coming up on my elbow, but it's just, oh, they're not so great. You see all the good photos, and we said we'll share they're not so great. This is definitely one of them, because 43 mozzy bites from head to toe, so itchy. We've, um, last night we had bugs galore in the van, so we were looking for every little groove, anywhere, any gap they could, they could be coming in, and we, we worked out that one of our windows actually hasn't clipped in properly. Um, so we've taken it off, off the window here. It meant we couldn't have our, our windows open and get the sea breeze, so we had to close it last night, which was awesome. It was um, nice. It was so hot, but it, we knew that it was abnormal because we know little bugs can get through the like their vents behind the microwave and the fridge and all that sort of jazz, but these were bugs, like, and I'm squatting. You can probably see we've got marks around the van. Yeah, Look at there, but it's not normal. We have not had this the whole trip. And then I was like, ah, oh, found that our window was popped. So just gonna try and see if we can fix it because it wasn't popping back in with a bit of a bang. It's on, I can have the window open tonight. So good, makes such a difference getting the breeze. Oh, we leave these good. suckers open, the the, uh, the roof hatches, but we've had some high winds and all night they just clang, clang, clang. So the window's a much better option and that's facing the ocean. So it's, um, yeah, it was a killer without that open last night, but anyway. Small wins. I'm doing homeschooling. Yeah, what are you doing? Colouring the chain? Yeah. Yeah? I have to stop at 10. Sorry? I have to stop at 10 and do a different colour. Yeah. Are you counting 10 chain links? And then changing colours at 10? That's good. What about you, Ace? What are you learning? Um, not really learning anything, I'm just writing down numbers. Numbers okay. Highest. You're putting numbers in order? From 30 in groups from 13,000 to highest to lowest. That's still